Welcome to CoPlay Media, a look inside the world of video games, anime, and the Blurred community. And now, here are your hosts, Diers and Demo. And welcome to CoPlay Media! Uh, woo! Yo, today here, we got homies, man. We got, we got partners from way back. We got my boy Rick, my boy Jonathan from Top Trio here in the building. Oh. So happy to have you guys, man. How y'all doing, man? I'm, good. I'm great, man. Love love talking to you again. Love to get an opportunity to meet Andre. Uh, I'm excited. Pleasure, pleasure. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Really I think we met, we, we met way time. back, like, uh, we met in N3DC, I think it was his last show that we did, and we were at the uh, N3DC location. That was awesome. I yeah, remember that yeah. was great. Right before the uh, world went to so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, man. Is he more specific? That, 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, was it COVID. that incident? I mean, COVID. Yeah, co- oh, okay. okay. All right, all right. Co- so, oh, yeah, we, 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 we talking about COVID? Right, right. We're talking about the other one. We're talking about the other stuff. We're talking about COVID. All right, all right. There was other things that happened. Okay, well. We, 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 Back before COVID. <laughs> well, it seems like a lifetime ago. You know what I'm Yo, saying? Like, it dude, really man. does, man. It, like, I, it, it, things seem so simple. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to yeah. love hanging out with people in person and, and, and giving hugs and high fives. I can't do none of that no more. And it's mm-hmm. funny because, like, I remember when we first got sent home, it was back in, like, March of, of 2020. And everybody was like, this is going to be all over in a couple of weeks. Couple we're gonna weeks. see. I'll see y'all in. I'll see y'all in May and June. And here we are, man. Like I, I don't even know what the office looked like anymore, man. man you know, that's I, I got the year. I remember <laughs> when we were getting ready for it. You know what I'm saying? We were getting to work, and I was like, "This ain't gonna be nothing." And I got sick like right the day COVID was beginning. So I'm Ooh. in the hospital. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh just, my goodness, dude! Everyone is freaking out. You know, what everybody I'm saying? going crazy, man. Right? Doctor showing up full mask, you know, with the visor ahead, with the they wearing the plastic body. I mean, thing. I got abducted by aliens and stuff, bro. Right? Um, right. And I'm just remember sitting when, there, uh, like, like, what happened? You know what I'm saying? Like, they were selling hand sanitizer for twenty five dollars a bottle. Bro, no. remember, <laughs> not find no wipes. Wipes were gone. Wipes was gone. Dude. Wipes was a memory. Baby wipes, Clorox wipes, had the dollar store hand sanitizer, toilet paper. People. I, were Crazy. I remember the homie. He thought his way out the matrix. He went and got a bidet. I was like, bro. <laughs> hey. I was like, bro. Like that. How much is that? He's like, yo, the money that we saved in toilet paper this year. I believe home, it. I believe it. Yeah. Paid for the, I, I was like, it. yo, I, I, I got to give you props for that. Get knocked the hustle, man. Man, hey, man. I don't, I don't, I don't even know where you get them things from. You know what I'm saying? Like, where you get that at? Like, but the day, I think, know. think about that. The yeah. world went and bought toilet paper. They just <laughs> and did it. I remember the uh, oh, like remember you that one guy think? that went over like that. three different states to buy all that different stuff, yeah. and then uh, yeah. like eBay, eBay, and Facebook locked them out, so he couldn't sell it. Yeah, did he try to send it back? Yeah. He was like, they were like, nah, bro. You can't <laughs> be like, I'm, I'm trying to feed my family. Uh, <laughs> hey, ain't bad a couple months ago. Let me install it, baby. Ain't bad a few months ago. People, people putting the gasoline in the uh in the trash bag. Trash bag, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm convinced. I'm convinced that Americans have no idea how to survive. They don't. You, you know. You know what got me is that I thought that uh, uh, what's the word? What's the word? Um, were you a lot? What's that called? Um, what, oh, uh, diarrhea. 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 I thought. I thought <laughs> diarrhea. diarrhea was one of the symptoms of COVID because I'm like that's got to be the reason why everyone's buying toilet paper. But even still, nah, man. bro, go take a shower. Go break. <laughs> It, take, it takes one, on it takes one newscast. It takes one thing on the news about something going going up. And people are like, we gotta go. I'm like, we got a whole closet for Nah, like, but they're talking about it, so we gotta get we gotta get more. I'm like, yo, show you, you how powerful last is. thing I'm worried about. <laughs> yo, that's the last thing I was worried about, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I was I'm not like, thinking about nah, I was like, ain't no food in the stores. Right. 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 Yo, right. when there was no food in the stores. Yeah. Man, it was just... I don't know about y'all, but I don't know how to kill a deer and then skin it and yeah. stuff. Like, I can't do it. Okay. <laughs> For the record, I may be the only person in here that could actually do that because I lived in North Carolina, but I, I don't want to do it. Well, <laughs> You know, you know, man, man, my man, my man, I'd rather not. But I, mean, <laughs> right. you know, you know, I would talk. I would talk how to fish, how to hunt, 
all that stuff. And I was a city boy, and I moved. Well, out there, and yeah, like, I'm about to say I could fish all day, but if yeah, I, I had to eat it, I'm just a deer. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna let y'all, I'm gonna let y'all know right now. If that happens, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die out in nature. You know, I'm what I can make some deer burgers, bro. I make some deer burgers for everybody. Dude, we good, man. We gonna eat good. Hey, deer, deer burger, man. Don't 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 sleep on them deer burgers. Right, oh, man. deer burgers are tight. Rick, Rick, bro, they ate rat burgers and demolition, man. They had to do what they had to do. Hey, man, that movie was way do. before its time. Demolition Man was was brilliant, yo. It was brilliant. Yeah, we, we we just talked about it on our recent podcast, Demolition Man. It so just heard talking about the three yeah. shells, man. We, we talking about yes, there you go. We need toilet paper. We know how to use the three shells. We'd have been fine. Yo, just I, just three shells. I still wonder how to use the three shells. Yo, I was friend, I was like, all these. I was on. I went through. I went through a rabbit hole on Reddit. I was like, yo, this is this. I need yo. To Oh, my friend like, sent me the, the uh, my friend sent me the picture that the uh, director made of how it's supposed to be done. Yeah, dude, it is way it is way before it's time. Like yeah. it's actually when you think about it, you're like, oh, all right, damn, that's pretty. That's a pretty good idea. Don't, like, don't tell me the shells make sense. The shells make it sense. does. It kind, of, it kind of does, man. Yo, matter of fact, when you think about it, you're overthinking it. I'm like, because I, I think about am I over my, I thought you just, I thought you just scooped three oh, times. You wiped three times. It, it, okay, okay, so you, you want to go? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> it's the clam, bro. It's the clam. So it's, it's, it's I mean, yeah. And you, the clam takes care of everything. And then the last clam is the toilet paper. Yeah. Just so you, off. So you, 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 you do this in the clam. Yep. Close it. Close and it. And then you. And then the third clam cleans up the mess. Whoop, that's it. Whoop, that is. So, so do you clean the clams afterwards? No, you throw it away. They throw the clams. <laughs> the clams. That's Yo, it. Disposable so clams. I thought the clams were reusable. <gasps> no, it's biodegradable, I, I, baby. You know, oh, oh, oh my! <laughs> but it's cool. I was like, saw I saw the diagram today, and I was like, oh, my. oh snap! That is genius. That's tight. That's tight. I'm just I thought I really thought you just scooped through time. That's, right, that's what I thought. I was like, I'm sure it's pain. You ain't got it all after three scoops. Then. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Three scoops. You still like, taking the whole clam thing gets thrown out the window if you got diarrhea. You just go take a shower after the call. Yeah, you gotta give up. You gotta give up. <laughs> Start your whole day all over again. Yeah, just, you gotta go home after that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wear it. Everybody in yeah, the man had uh, diarrhea because they ate Taco Bell for dinner. So they had uh, hey, they that was fine dining. Hey, they were fine yeah. dining. Taco they got dressed Bell. up with Taco Bell. Hey, Taco Bell is slept on for breakfast. All right, yeah, bro. That waffle taco, dog. The burritos, uh, the breakfast burritos are clutch. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What's it called? I don't know about all that, but I remember those French fries with the cheese dust. Oh, yeah. Nacho, Nacho fries. fries. Nacho fries. They ain't got them no more. Uh, they, they come them. and go. It's they come and go. Because my boy, it's, look, it's, like, boy, it's like a oh, McRib. Taco Bell, yeah, give it. <laughs> exactly. It's like a McRib. Yeah, I'm not going to get upset tonight on y'all podcast because I'm mad about nacho fries. Like I really don't care for Taco Bell, but I like the nacho fries. I like the them. nacho fries are good. Those are actually they knew what they were doing, good. man. They, they, I feel as if that there was like a, a negotiation between fast food restaurants, and there was like Taco Bell. You got to stop, baby. You can't you do this no man. Oh man. But yo, 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 yo. Okay, oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Right, so right, nobody's right. seen the closer yet. Not everybody's seen the closer. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen I think Rick is the only one that hasn't seen it. Only person ain't seen it. Okay, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. All right, all right. We'll, just we'll do that say, another time. I'm just going to say Dave is a genius. But moving on. Okay. <laughs> How did Top Trio start? And where is the third one? How did it start? Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, after, after after everything we just been through. Um, now I gotta be serious, okay? Put my game through for him. Go ahead, go ahead, pull it together, man. Pull it together. Okay, I'm gonna give, and Jonathan may not know this, but Jonathan is probably a big reason why Top Trio three, Top Trio happened. Um, Jonathan and I used to work together, but it's kind of before we started working together. Uh, we went to New York Comic Con uh, with a friend of ours, and we kind of met, became like good friends, nice. and we've been tight ever since. And then at work, myself, him, and Jose used to be a part of Top Trio as well. We would talk all day at work about mm. geek stuff. That's tight. I was like, man, we got to get this on paper. We got to get this in front of people. Like, this shit is rich, you know? And I just had this idea. I was like, you know, it's three of us, maybe top trio. I worked with, like, Rally J, because they were both Jose and Jonathan. I was trying to trying to pump them. I didn't really want to talk. I just want to do the production stuff. 
Because yeah. I, I, I'm a certified video editor. I do videos and everything. I'm, oh, snap. You get paid for it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let, let's do all this. And it kind of morphed into something over the years. But really, if Jonathan and I didn't go to New York Comic Con, I didn't meet Jonathan going to New York Comic Con, Top Trio probably wouldn't have been the thing. It just, we were just talking about any and everything. And then it turned into something bigger and it just kept on morphing into something every single year. So, mm-hmm. as always, man, thank you, Jonathan. Yeah, I wouldn't be here if I didn't meet you, bro. I just it, it was funny because now now I'm thinking about it. I remember like because we were all sitting close to each other in the office, and yeah. I can I remember the conversation. Very close. Being Jose, <laughs> being, the conversations being Jose. We talk about this random stuff. Like, remember we were talking about uh like which one was better, who got served, and uh what was the other one? Uh, oh no, hold on. This, this is for y'all. This is for y'all because I always get shit. so. This is the topic. So I need, oh, I need to you give you guys. Stop so it's, you got you got served versus stomp the yard. Which one was the better move? Who got served? Yeah. What? Uh, yes. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go with stomp the yard. That's what Thank you, came, right? Thank you. Thank That's you. That's the one Chris Brown got killed in the first two minutes. Oh no. wait, wait, wait. Stomp the yard is stomp not the one yard Chris was Brown? not better. That is one Chris Brown. Stop the artist Chris Brown. Stop Chris Brown and, uh, he kicked ass in the beginning and then he got shot. You're thinking about drumline. Stop the yard is there. Yeah, that's Nick Cannon. No, that's Nick Cannon. That's Nick Cannon. That's that's my Ryder Curry husband. (laughs) Stop the yard. They had Megan Good. They had uh, had, uh, Chris Brown. No. No, they didn't. You got served as one of the only movies with Uh, copious. Oh, Megan Good and Chris Brown were in Stop the Yard. Okay. Oh, you now, I, I got to be honest with y'all. You got That's served right. is, you know, more popular. When you were like, you got served, I was like, oh, I remember you got served. Like, no, got what's served. your pick? What's, what's your pick? pick? Oh, oh, you want a purse. You want them purse to be picked. So I, you, I, you, I ain't worried about popularity. You see how you try to be, you start be on the fence. Like, you know, no, you know y'all, y'all, what's the name? Universal. Man, no, no, no. This ain't no Dragon Ball Z, man. Get out of here, dude. He was like, oh, man. He's like, we got to dance in the rain so we get stronger so we win the championship. I was like, nah, man. Get out of here. And today, you suckers got served. Yeah, sir, 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 get out of here, man. Hold on, man. Yeah, Steve Harvey and Lil' Kim in that joint. What's wrong with you? Hey, we got, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take it to the streets. To the oh, streets? Straight. Yeah, the streets. streets. <laughs> yeah, nah, man. Uh, I mean, you know some dudes some frosted tip to beat your ass in front of your girl? Come on, now. I'm going to say this. The little boys came to their hood, beat their ass on the basketball court, out danced them, took their moves, embarrassed them, and everything. Oh, my God. Oh, Oh. So anyway, that okay. was the like we had that com- dude. We had that conversation all day from the moment we came in oh, yeah, to the time man. one of us clocked out, and it got heated. Like I've <laughs> never seen Jose get pissed. Like I've never seen this man get heated. This man is the coolest cucumber dude on earth. He not piss this man off, man. man. I don't, I don't, I don't like this. I don't, I don't see oh, where you're you going. Sorry. Sorry. I, I beg <laughs> to disagree, right. brother. He was slamming his keyboard. He was like, Jay. No, I was like, dude, what are you talking about? <laughs> so you know, it turned into a thing. So after all the arguing and stuff, so He's like, man, I wish we, I should have recorded this. <laughs> so yeah, I had this cool idea. Though. It's kind of funny. I had, you know, I was a big fan of Exploit. You know, from G4 TV. I yeah, love Exploit. Uh, yeah, amazing show. Yeah, yeah. I was, I, I was a big fan. Jonathan was too. Jonathan's humongous fan. Oh, big time, big yeah. time. Um, so I was like, you know, I had this. I said, you know, let's see if we can kind of do some debates, do some, you know, some our personal choices and create this like this video, kind of like exploit. Yeah. So I was like, let me get three hosts and get one girl and two guys. You gotta have a female lead. Yep. And I had Jonathan and then I had my friend Daniel, really a really great dude, but really love video games, plays everything. And then I had Dana, who was a cosplayer, pretty big cosplayer, and she's huge on anime. Yep. Then I have Jonathan who any movie in the world, he's seen it and he's ready to flame it. Like it's, <laughs> it's Hulk smash with Jonathan. Big Trouble in Little China. Okay, oh, here we go. What's up? Uh, what you got to say about it? I love that oh. movie. Personally, it's one of my favorite movies. I, I'm Honestly, I haven't been to Movie Destroyer in so long. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> my man is rusty. Look, my man is rusty. Look, I mean, that's, that's his movie. name. His I'm, name I'm, is honestly, though, Jay that's... the Movie Destroyer. That's his name on Top Trio. His name is not Jonathan. Is Jay the movie destroyer? Jay the I'm movie saying, destroyer. Look, I, you can't. First of all, you can't destroy a movie like that, man. Any. First of all, I'm not. I'm not messing with no Kurt Russell movies. Personally. Yes. <laughs> yes. Russell, that's the right because, answer. That's the right answer. That's a John Carpenter movie, right? 
Yeah, with the, I'm not, uh, nah, bro. Nah, the, uh, you, don't, you don't. Kurt Russell don't miss, dog. Kurt, Kurt Russell, Russell don't miss. miss. Star I watch. I watch like Overboard, Overboard, Overboard right now. Wasn't he in Tombstone too? Yeah. Yo, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, he don't. He don't he make bad movies, man. Not at all. The movie. The movie was a precursor for Mortal Kombat. Just FYI. What? What? I'm just, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> you see, see how he starts though? <laughs> And the yeah. thing about it was all three of us was thinking at the same time, like, for real? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> nah, like, sure. like, see how he gets I you? Sure. Boy? That, I, it's, I like that. Any other person be like, man, shut up. We were sitting there like, damn, for real? Nah. What? Like, you got to double think about it. Like. <laughs> You're like, wait a minute. Nah, man. He fucking... <laughs> so so I, I see that everybody got different specialities, you know what I'm saying? What other topics? Or is there like a main group of topics that you, like, you know how Jay covers movies, you know what I'm saying? Like, is there a set of topics that you guys usually cover? Like? So the great thing about Top Trio is we look for fan input. Yeah. And um, the, the, our, I guess our uh, suffix is uh, a podcast powered by you. Yeah. And what we always do is we always ask folks. If we do a power hour, if we're going to make a video, if we're going to do a contest, we ask people what they want to hear, what they want to listen to. So and then we, we'll take those responses, we'll read them, we'll put together something into where everybody wins. Yeah. Everybody gets to hear what they want. And yeah. then we try our best to make sure, like, if we don't have the fan support, we ain't got nothing. So we exactly. always try to listen to the fans and make something appealing to them. So we're just not rambling. I mean, every almost almost every topic has been ran through through the uh, our fans and, and listeners. And it's like, yo, what do you want to talk about? What, who's your favorite this? What's your favorite video game? What's your favorite moment? What's your favorite movie? And we'll just set a poll. And then, like after everybody is like put their their in, their input in, we like we just take it from there and we just roll with it. Like, yeah, that's lame, yeah, that's lame. Uh, we got to cover that. That right yeah, there. Yeah, it's pretty cool though because it's like, and I hate to say it, people love to give their opinion. Absolutely. Yeah. People that's feel anything. entitled, that's especially anything. on Facebook. Oh, anything. People it's like, like oh, it's my turn to talk. Just, it's my right? turn to say how I feel. You know, I mean, excuse me. Never to the mic. Like, I it's, got an opinion and a gen and an agenda. It's pretty cool though, because even when I did the uh podcast with you and Trevor, you know, I was like, hey, what well, what's our top three? Yeah. That's what we do. Yeah. And we interview folks, we interview our actual audience and other pe- other promotions to say, look, hey, we bring them on, we ask them their opinions, and look, this is good content. Like, what's what what is it that you like? You know, hey, let's let's talk about it. Like, Can we- I like it, not nah, true, but Let's debate about it. Yeah. And the really cool thing about it is because, like, we have a large variety of input. So you got the young heads, you got the old heads, <sighs> people, you know, we, my favorite, my favorite anime of all time is Cowboy Bebop. And then you have a generation who this new show is going to be their first foray into it. Mm-hmm. Really? You know so, saying? so hold on. So hold on. How do you feel about this? I'm kind of scared. I'm, 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 I'm really hesitant. I'm nervous. As much as I love it, and much as I hate Netflix adaptations, because so far they're like zero for for hundred right now when it comes to adaptations. Oh yeah, all the, adapt- the adaptations. The only thing are saving it is the look. So that far, the actor, the actor yeah. that they have. Somebody did their homework. Somebody did their that. homework. Did somebody did it's their not homework. the same person that did Death Note? That's for well, sure. I was about to say because Death Note was terrible. That was that was horrible. And, uh, and I love that black guy. What's the name of that black guy? Like Keith Stanfield or something? Yeah. Yeah, he was horrible, the man, and I hate it. Him. Was just, uh, it was just like it was like th- this show shows you whoever did this movie obviously didn't watch the anime. Not at all. Like they just read the synopsis on on right. uh, Wikipedia and was like, okay, bet. All right, that's all we need to know. Like you don't want to know what happens in the movie. What? No, no, no. no I just I'm got, also I mad that goes. Lakeith Stanfield took that role. Ooh, 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 ooh. And then that. they got a sequel. They got a sequel coming up too. What was he thinking? He knew like, better. What was he thinking? He's like, 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 yo, I'm gonna revolutionize look, man, L. Look, the next season like, of Atlanta, who, who probably another two years. He gotta, he gotta make some money, man. Those seasons of Atlanta come like every two years, bro. Yo, yo, I love Atlanta. Ain't nothing as bro. real and surreal yeah. as Atlanta, bro. That Atlanta, first season, gangster. Yeah, that look, Robin season was gangster. Crazy. Robin season was gangster, bro. But that first season, like, it was just, it was so unexpected. Oh yeah, like that one, the one episode when they were doing all the commercials. Oh yes. yeah, they were doing the Arizona yeah. iced tea. It's like yo, the yeah. prices on the can, prices on the can, <laughs> yo. Right. Oh. No, they glorified the swish and sweets. They, I've never yo. seen. And that stock went up. 
It's not going up on so good. You know, how long times I went to 7 Eleven over in East Over and it was like a dollar 29. Dollar 29. Yo, this is like 99 cents. Hey, yo, nah, son. Nah. What tax are you charging me? Yeah. The tax for me to buy more, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm about to cop some more. Right. Look, I got a dollar in my pocket, I'll give you one cent tax. But, right, right to answer your question though, Keep like, chain, I'm, I'm apprehensive, but I for I like the I like the look that they're going with whoever they hired to do like the costume designs and stuff like that. They they did their homework because even even like in the still shots, remember the three old guys that there was yeah, in like yeah. a couple, they in the background. Oh, like, yeah, that was really cool. I was like, yeah, okay. Respect. So I'm, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna be optimistic. I'm gonna take it one step at a time and just see how it is. I'm not gonna like on it or anything like that before I ever see it. I mean, but at the same time, when it's one of your favorite animes, it, and it's a good anime, dog. You know what I'm saying? Anime. Like that's that was timeless. That that soundtrack is like funny. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna yeah. go in because I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna yeah, go I'm watch it. Very low standards. Exactly. And I want to be. I want to be surprised, man. I think. The greatest thing I would say about this, about Cowboy Bebop, in my opinion, is the fact that, and I always bring this up, I get to sit at home and watch it. I'm, like, it's not a movie. I went to the yeah. movies, and I got to go pay and sit in here and see this. Exactly. And be less skeptical. But I'm at uh, home. If I had to pay money. Yeah. Like, you know, like, like think about how many of those HBO Max movies, if you saw in the theater, would you, how, how, like, you know. If I saw Mortal Kombat movie theaters, I would have been, been pissed. Yeah. Oh, I would have been But pissed. at home, I was like, it's not bad. It's not yeah, bad. it wasn't bad. It's not bad. That's but I had to pay action. for it, though? That's a rainy day movie, I'm good. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. I mean, Mortal Kombat was, I felt like it had more thought put into it than the other ones. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Because there was a, some of those movies, I'm like, Wonder Woman 88? I'm like, bro. How do, you, how do you guys feel about, like, the Netflix animated shows, like uh, uh, The Seven Deadly Sins and Castlevania? Castlevania is tight. Castlevania is actually pretty dope. Is That's pretty dope. Good. Like, yeah, I was man. surprised. Like, it's not even, like, anime anime, but it's just, it, like, this animated is, and like, it's fire. Yeah, that's just, like, I, I need to finish it, but, yeah, for what I was, uh, you know, it's like one of those shows you just tried it out just to see how it was. We're like, oh, okay. And now you want to give it your full attention, so you just want to kind of put it to the side. It's one of those shows, but from what I've seen, like those first couple episodes, I'm like, damn, this is it, it, it ranks. Netflix, see, so that's the thing. See, that's the Netflix is like 50-50, man. Some shows is like, damn, you really you got people who really care about the, the characters and the design and the action and all that. And then other shows, you're like, what what's, what's this? It's not it's not consistent with them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where you hope somebody got fired. Oh, have you guys ever heard of uh I don't know if you guys it's um do we consider Chinese anime anime? Right? I mean, no. I, 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 there's a, there's <laughs> a debate. So, okay, so what do you call it though? Yeah, like, what, is, what, what else would you call it? Chinese? It's the same people who classify. I mean, it, it's I hate to say it's like that debate where People consider Avatar anime, and you can. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's arguments to be made on both scales. I'm not a fan of it's called anime, but I respect it if you call it that because I'm like, it's, it's there. The influence is there. Is I'm about to say that, that's where that's that's where I feel like the Boondocks and Avatar are like they can sneak in because it's yeah definitely anime Japanese it's, anime art style. Yeah, it, inspired. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely Everything with us. Yeah. yeah, and I was going to say, uh, have you guys ever heard of an anime called Scissor Seven? Ah oh, man, I tried. Scissor Seven is good. Scissor Couldn't Seven is good. It, I haven't heard of it. I haven't heard of it. It's Scissor Netflix. Seven. It's on Netflix. Um, okay. I forgot they got some Chinese dude. I think it's the Chinese dude from the, the Daily comedian. Show. Yeah, he's okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ronnie Chan. Yeah, that guy. Okay, Ronnie Chan. Like he's the voice of the main character, and. Uh, Scissor 7 is good. You okay, know okay. Uh, okay I'll, 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 it's I'll, good. Like, I'll check it out. Because he was funny in uh, that Shang-Chi movie. It, yeah. It, it's worth the Shang-Chi? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because he was like the, the fight promoter or whatever. In yeah, that, I guess. Yeah, he was. Yeah, but so I, I, I think he's pretty cool. I, I'll check it out. I would definitely say that. I mean, Baki. Oh, oh man. Baki. Bro. Yeah. 
I haven't watched the latest season, but I love Baki, bro. I love Baki. It was wait, wait when you said the latest, you talking about the season that just started? The season that just started. Season yeah, just started. Yeah, yeah. I haven't. Okay. Well, well, we can talk about the previous season, right? We can talk no. about the previous. Let me tell you something. Baki's dad is that dude for real, man. No. Uh, but I, at yeah. first, let me tell you something. When they Hanu. first, when Muhammad Ali first came on the scene, <laughs> I was like, no. first I was like, yo. But then at the same time, I was like, that's kind of. Up because every time he was standing there, he was just drooling. Yeah, I was I like, yeah, that's, I mean, I get it, but at the same time, like, you ain't had to do that, man. Hey, they, 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 gave, top, him, man. they gave him, they you know gave they him his shine. The they gave him his shine at the end. Oh, wait, I don't know if it, spoilers, spoilers. They we gave him watched, I haven't watched at, the last season. You didn't watch this? Uh, do you I haven't remember watched the when, new season? Uh, Y'all remember, y'all remember the end where his son got the crack his ass by everyone and then his daddy. He was simping for Bucky's girl and everything. Oh, oh, yeah. oh bro. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know if it, I don't know if it was simping. I think he was legitimately trying to steal his girl. That's what I, I was thinking. Was working though. That's what I was thinking. I was like, hold up. I was like, hold, bro. I don't. I don't think it was not working. You know what I'm saying? Because she didn't say. She no. was. She was not saying no. Hey, she, she was for the streets. That's why. A little, yeah, a, she was for the streets. Uh, you know, she she, she kind of said it like once, like, "Hey, I'm with Bucky," and he was like, "That don't matter." Right. Like, he was like, like I don't is, see no is you happy? Is right. you happy? That was yeah. a, he was he was putting on moves on her. He's like, oh yeah, y'all ain't getting married get... though. Okay, so it's not serious. Okay, okay. One <laughs> thing about this show that always gets me is like when they have the one-on-one fights, I'm like, okay, well, this match is over with. And then two minutes later, it's like, yo, this dude got his face shot off, he's bleeding to death. And he's and still up. And he beat this dude's ass. And he just lost. He's still fighting. Yeah, do that internal monologue. Like, oh, you thought I was dead. Oh. <laughs> and then he'll beat the other guy. The other guy, cool. I'm just going to die now. And that guy goes on his life. And that guy comes right back. Right back. Yo. Man, what yeah. about the dude that was eating the candies and crap? After? Oh, the black dude that was yeah. uh, that was in jail, but it wasn't in jail? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Break out. He was like... Weird. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna leave jail today. Yes, sir. Yeah. I was like, yo. Yeah, they yeah, had, he was they in that penitentiary on the on the island. And he was like, yeah, I'm, I guess we'll go ahead and roll out today. He's like, yeah, it's like, I guess I'll just. I'll, I'll just. I'll, I guess I'll go home today. Yes, I'll, sir. Uh, how do you guys feel about uh, JoJo's bizarre adventure? Did y'all ever? Do y'all ever? Bro. <laughs> hey, yo, yo, yo. Every time I close. Yo, hold up, hold up. Yo, hold up. <laughs> yo, I can't mess with Jonathan, bro. Yo, Love I can't mess with Jonathan. Because we were talking about that. We were like, yo, how you going to get, you going to watch an episode with this dude getting his ass waxed and as soon as the credits hit, you hit the jokes. Hold on, 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 Freaking Every freaking, freaking night. I'm like, yo, but you know what though? Yo, hold on. I wonder yo, how many. Actually, I wonder how many people watched JoJo and was like, yo, what is this? Yeah, yo, like what's going how on? How many people like, got right? opened up to JoJo see after this? You know, you know the funniest sleep. part. I woke up. You what? know the funniest part is that there was an Asian dude somewhere that said yes. That's the funniest yep. part. There's an Asian dude. dude who was like, this is what we need for the end. I guarantee you. I okay. guarantee you, right now in Tokyo, there's a Japanese dude singing Josie at the karaoke bar because oh, of JoJo. Yes. Of this is how you bad welcome. it was, right? I was on the I couch. guarantee you. I drink, with the, I, I drink some tea with that dude right now. He was out there. He probably the, singing his ass off to that song right now because of JoJo. Dude, I was on the couch, and I'm sitting there, and I'm watching Tsunami, and I fell asleep, right? <laughs> and I'm like... You woke up, you're like, yo, I'm like, BT, BT, I cut? Yeah, I said, BT, I cut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this ain't tip drill. I'm like, what's that? Tip drill? And I'm they, like, they, why they is JoJo the... characters on the screen? This is an AMV or something? And they be, they why? be moving with the, with the poses, too. Yo, I, I, I hit up Jonathan. That's a Jonathan. Oh, yo, <laughs> yo, I'm like, hold up. Move fast, bro. Like, they use Jodeci in the ending. <laughs> that joint was awesome. Every song, every season was random as just Dude, so 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 we did a um the first season. I'm like, yo, what the hell is this? So we did so we did an anime power hour, right? So I'm, y'all know what a power hour is? No, what you mean? It, it's, it's like a college term, right? So a power hour is a drinking game, right? Oh, yeah. And it's it's sixty <laughs> clips. Like, it's sixty clips or whatever whatever topic is. They could be anime, fight scenes, movie clips, Sports. horror, Halloween. I do them all the time. I do like six, seven times a year, right? Okay. And we did anime openings, right? So we had everybody submit all the anime openings. So we had all these anime openings. 
And so I usually do something grand to end the uh, power hour. So I was like, you know, it's closing. You know, it's the closing time. And I was like, I'm playing the Jodeci joint. And Jonathan and I, we on the power hour. Die. <laughs> dude, that, that Jodeci, dude, I, I'm yeah. sorry. That is that is the most voice. badass thing ever in JoJo. Oh, no, like, no. those two go hand in hand now. Dude, really? Do you know how much money they probably had to football, spend man. to get that song? Like, to get I, I don't know. I don't know, song? man. They, they, not, they not, you know, PC and JoJo ain't out there, you know. You mean Jodeci. You mean Jodeci. You mean Jodeci. Jodeci. You mean not Jodeci. Not Casey and JoJo. Casey and yeah, it's JoJo Jodeci, bro. are probably crackheads now. Most of them. <laughs> I mean, you <laughs> seen the verses, right? I was yeah, just saying. I seen the verses. They were struggling like, during the verses. They was, they I was, was like, KC been on that. that he on been on that minutes, rock. On that stuff. You know, every time, I, every time I see him now, I think about the episode of Martin when he goes to uh, see Tommy Davidson. Oh man! He's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but he's not um, acting. That's how he really is. I'm like, oh, bro. Yeah, man. Uh, that's tough times. That's woo. tough. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> bro. <Rough. laughs> Life so, hits you hard sometimes. Oh, so, yeah. like it hit Casey and Joe. I mean, it really hits a lot. Like it, it makes me not ever want to really be a celebrity because I'm like, there is no, only Kurt Russell got out. You know what I'm saying? Only Kurt Russell is that. (laughs) Kurt Russell, Kurt Kurt Russell, Keanu Reeves, and The Rock. Yeah, that's it. Chuck Norris. That's the only only one. If you bring up a good point, Keanu Reeves is probably the most down-to-earth dude now. Dude Dude rides the Metro. Yeah, he's on a bus pass. I don't even know if he drives a car. Like he just I doubt it. <laughs> he just, I, I, I doubt it. see him catching the he catching the metro to film the matrix every night. He's like, right, he catched the bus to the all right man, the B12 yeah, was late. Okay. It's like nigga, you more like you Neo. You can't, can't be having Neo on the B12. What's wrong with you, man? He's truly winning at life. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's truly winning at life. Oh, you'll be thinking about something with JoJo though. That clip of that episode when they uh when they stalk cuz out. Oh, oh, I love that. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy was like, boy, your boy drinking tea. He's like, oh. He's like, like, hold up. He's like, what y'all, hold up. Y'all stop it? Y'all stop it? Me too, me too. <laughs> It's like the episode of uh, The Boys, boy, when they had the girl power joint, they were stomping oh, that home girl. God. That's what I thought of. That Yo, joint was awesome. That's real girl uh, power that's, right that's, there. That's one of my favorite shows right now, man. Uh, I can't uh, wait for it to come back. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't wait for that. Episode. Now I got to go really watch JoJo, man. Bro. Oh, JoJo's Bizarre. What can I say about it? JoJo's Bizarre? Wait, wait, adventure. wait, wait. Does it get better after the first season? It gets crazier. Well, I'm not a big I'll, fan I'll of it, but I I'll, 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 better. Better. I'll put it to you like this. There is a stark correlation between, like, weird, super muscular dudes, and then it slowly translates to a super effeminate dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So they, super, they remind me super of super effeminate. Oh. Dude, like, like it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a slow boil though. It's a slow boil. Yeah. Like I don't remember yeah. when it was like, yo, J- JoJo is suspicious, but at somewhere yo. along the lines, I, I yeah. ended Suspect. like, yo, like, it's like there's no women around here. What's going on? Yeah, it's yeah, it. never... just us. It's, a <laughs> sus. it's just, it's like eight dudes with no shirts on and no women, hey, like, hey, posing like posing like this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, 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 like the Madonna videos. I'm like, nah, oh, bro. Gosh. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of the game. Like, I used to games like... Games are tight. The, the first game, couple... The, I only watched the first, games, the first three seasons. The first game... First game was oh, on Dreamcast. There's oh, the Dreamcast? games? I believe JoJo... Bro, there's, there's, there's games all the way back Dreamcast, from... I'm correct. Make sure. It's like, there's the idiot. Because uh, the most recent one is on PS4. But, like, I think it started on, like... Don't quote me. Uh, the first yeah. PlayStation... And then they got oh, ported over to the Dreamcast because it's like an arcade game with them. Yep. The I remember the arcade game. Yo, and it looks hard. Yeah. It's like yes, Dark yes. Stalkers. No, it's, it's, it's played in tournaments. Those, yeah, dude, game this official. game, bruh, let me tell you. That, that, that first game, that Dreamcast game, that's official. That's yeah, I was hard. shocked by the anime. I said, what is the anime? I so saw I think, those now, games. Honestly, I think it came out, it came out oh, around yeah. the same time as Marvel vs. Capcom 2 because it was yeah. a Capcom game. So it yeah. got overshadowed. Oh, okay, okay. But yeah, yeah. It, it's 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 legit though. It's legit. It, it's legit. I gotta check that out. I gotta yeah, check yeah, that out. That's 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 it. That's it. Y'all it. putting me on. Oh, oh. So I know that you guys are a big fan of wrestling. Yes, you know, sir. What? Yep. Yep. Now, what? I, I'm what? Gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> not me. I, not me. I, I haven't really watched wrestling since. Let me let me not try and date myself, but uh. Since uh, uh, what's his name? Stone Cold Steve Austin and yeah. the Rock. 
Yeah, that was like that was like when that was, was the peak. That was that peak. was the peak. Yeah, I'm about to say yeah. that was a good time to watch wrestling, man. That was it the was, heyday. Of that was the wrestling. that was you that was crazy. That that was the attitude, the attitude era. Yeah. Oh, when they was the, the right. Dudley Boys was putting old ladies through tables. And getting Monday Night Wars. It. I mean, this uh, it was a great time. To it was, be yeah, that, that Monday Night War. So, I think so the, 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 the raw, fact that you had competition. War. You had to like outdo the other team when yeah. when Gen- D Generation X came to WCW's uh, yeah. arena with the tank. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, "Oh, that's yeah. what we doing." Yo, yeah, Eric Bischoff was not playing when it came to WCW. Yo, Eric Bischoff was a genius oh. back then. He even said, "Yep," he said on the podcast today. He was like, "Every single night for two years, I beat Vince's ass." He says he still holds that over. Yo. Vince. Even wow. though Vince bought him out, he was like, I beat his ass every Yo. night for two years straight. People don't realize, man, for, for a while, like, Nitro was kicking Raw's ass, man. Oh, yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. Because you had, think about it, it was, I mean, it's kind of similar to what's going on now, but you had, like, the top, top guys, and yeah. it's like, they got to the point where, I know you guys remember, I forgot her name, but, like, this is before, like, back then, when Raw first came on, it was pre-recorded. It wasn't yeah. live. So you have an uh, old girl, um, she had a match on Raw, but since WCW was live, she had that same belt and she <laughs> yeah. dumped it in the trash live while her match was still playing on Raw at the same yeah. time. That's and cool. that that just changed. They would do that. Vince was like, wow. we, gotta be, we gotta go live. We can't, we can't fuck around. They not, we can't, man. I, I have the Dudley Boys, too. They had the belts at ECW, and then they ECW went off, and they showed up at WWE. They right. left the facility. And we yeah. went crazy back then for that shit, man. We ate that shit. Oh, up. wow. Like, I, I haven't watched in, like, 10 years. And I know COVID has changed everything. Yes. Like, yes. Is wrestling even worth watching? Because I remember I, yes. I was just, I was on yes. television. I seen wrestling. They had no crowd. And Bruh. it was just like, it was just like, it was like it was so far from the men. But I get why. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because, like, when AEW came out, me and Rick shared something. Um, AEW's first live televised, like when, you know. First they, Dynamite. The first Dynamite in D.C. I flew down. I he was like, yo. Back. He flew I don't care. Here. I flew down to D.C. On Utah. I was like, yo. I was like, to D.C. We, for wrestling. We, we doing it for big. We doing it big. And I was not disappointed. And, and I remember, like, I think it was that Rio versus, uh, what's the name match? Uh, uh, Nala Rose. Nala Rose. Nala Rose? Oh, yeah. yeah. So it was like real, yo, the crowd was going crazy. My man Rick was going like, yo, like it was just, it was just like, it, it felt like the 90s all over again, man. Cause like you don't have, like when was the last, I'll just be honest, as a wrestling fan, when was the last time you were really like involved in a women's wrestling match? <laughs> when you know what I'm saying? Wrestling. You know what I'm saying? Like back in the day, we ain't, we're not talking about brawn panty matches and the and the, the, right. the, the jello it matches. Wasn't Lita in China? Like, I wasn't. Like, I wasn't two in women, uh, yeah, yeah, giving you a real match where the crowd is on their feet and like just going crazy. Like it was, it was the main event. Yeah, man. I, mean, I don't even remember the rest of them. I just remember China and like a couple of others. Bruh, I don't even remember the female wrestlers. China, oh man, I had the biggest crush on her, man. But dude, when she had like her whole run. The, the, you know, we're not even gonna talk about how they did her did, did her wrong, but like we're not gonna talk about she her did Latino? with Eddie Guerrero. Oh yeah, yeah, they yeah. had a thing. They had a real life thing too. They had a yeah. real life relationship. Was, that was the Latino heat thing, and he would come out like Mama C D came out with the car, and he was had every night came out with her with, her with roses, like baby, my you my girl. And, and, and MTV tried to capitalize our relationship with Xbox. That was just bad. That, yeah, was, that, that was, was so man, sad, man. Old but tape. Come yeah, man. I, I seen it. <laughs> yeah, 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 I ain't gonna lie. I seen it. All, her, all, all her stuff. I saw all her movies. All her movies. <laughs> so yeah. I, I'm kind of gonna piggyback off what Jonathan said. So I'm just saying, look, man. Yeah, so I um I stopped watching wrestling probably back in 2003, 2004. Oh, okay. I think The Rock okay. just did Scorpion King. Yeah, just, Scorpion yeah. King is terrible. So he he started he stopped it watching when John Cena came out. Yeah, so. So the Rock left, and I was trying to get. And there was nobody left. The Stone Cold was gone. So you had two lightning in the bottle that were gone, and you had nobody to replace them. Yeah. Then you bring up the Thugonomics, Doctor Thugonomics, John Cena, and I was, you know what? I'm done. I, 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 I can't do this shit no more. John Cena, though. I, I'm done. Like, and I said, I'm never going back to wrestling again. You guys, we're life. Gotta have it. We're so life. Jonathan was like, "Hey, I'm coming into town. You want to go to go to Dynamite?" And I'm like, "I'm not really into wrestling like that no more. I've been the last 15 years." 
I'm good, bro. He said, I'm coming to town, though. Let's go. And I'm like, I don't know. Okay, you know, you know, yeah, as a kid, I, I always want to go to a wrestling match. Who gonna be there? You gotta. Who, who all gonna be up in? There? Yeah, but the great thing is, like, I, I looked at the car. I said, like, "Hold on, I know who Cody is because he's been yeah. on Arrow." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "I know Dustin because you know that's Dusty's son that's and that's Gold Dust." I said, "I was like, okay, cool." I said, "I heard about Kenny Omega," so yeah. I was like, "Okay, I know Chris yeah. Jericho." Chris I was like, "You know what? Yeah. I think I can go here and kind yeah. of be able to chill a little bit." Enjoy it. Yep. Yeah, enjoy it. And Jonathan, I went with him. I had a time in my life, and I've been hooked ever since. My daughter's hooked on it. I watch everything AEW nonstop. I, we have a wrestling podcast every week on Top Trio. Man. Like, I am all like, this is the yeah. perfect time to watch wrestling because WWE is finally good now because yeah. Big E is doing his thing. It's what? competition, man. Yeah. Oh. It's healthy competition. Like, WWE was kind of like, Coming here, they was just wrestling on the laurels. Like we the only game in town. We we could we could do that. We, we can have wedding, we can have wedding segments. Yeah, like son that. will not shut up about Kofi Kingston. Who's Kofi Kingston? No idea. Wow. I don't know. Like I'm so out of touch. You know who like, I'm a fan of? I inter- I tried to interview him. He said that we he said that we could not because of his deal with WWE. Uh, Xavier Woods. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. yeah. That's, that's oh, yeah. I seen him at the con. I seen him at the con. I was like, "Sir, sir, can I please have your?" He's like, "No, we can take <laughs> a picture. We're cool, but we can't talk." Right see, here. And you know what? I don't even blame him for that. That's Vince. That's yeah. because contract. Vince is like, if you guys don't know about it, like Vince basically, even though they're supposed to be independent, independent contractors, they can't make any money outside WWE. No, they cannot. Unless he get, unless he getting a part of it. Yeah. So a lot of these wrestlers was on Twitch making big money. And he was like, shut it down. They had their own YouTube channels. He was like, if it's not affiliated with WWE, shut it down. Shut it down. A lot of people it's just quit WWE because they were making more money off Twitch and, and YouTube mm-hmm. than Vince McMahon was paying them. That's right. like Xavier Woods was lucky enough. He did that up, up, down, down channel for years. And he was smart. He got all the wrestlers. Man, he even had like... He had Brock Lesnar on there a couple of times. He had Goldberg. All the guys that normally would be like, I don't do that shit. He had them on there. So now he had this channel with so many viewers and so many people on there that like Vince was like, I can't shut this down. Mm -hmm. And then like New Day, one of the biggest wrestling tag team factions in WWE. And and like um, we we did like we, I think they like WWE actually did a, um, a poll uh, about a couple months ago, as far as like, you know, favorite tag teams or favorite factions of all time, and New Day was like one. Or, if if they weren't number one, they were number two. Mm. So that tells you how big they are. So Vince was like, all right, everybody else, you OnlyFans, Twitch, YouTube, all that, shut it down. But you, are those Xavier, the guys with like the trombone and stuff. Yeah, yes, New Day, the unicorns and the cereal and the pancakes and all that. Like I look, you can that say whatever cheesy. you want. They that paid their like the dues. Cheesiest thing that sounds so cheesy. Hold on, let me let me look it up just to make sure it's not. So the one thing I gotta say though, and uh, and this is where I'm gonna give AEW props. You know, unfortunately with Vince, he has everybody tied down. They can't do anything else. But AEW, AEW, they totally can do different. streams. They can do. They can, they can do everything. They can go to New Japan on Tuesday yeah. and then come back the the uh, oh. AEW on Wednesday. So I'm gonna throw this out. This is one of my favorite tag teams, right? This right is, uh, get, you this know what? It works. Yeah. I didn't think well, that it works, but I'm looking at it. But oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go no, ahead. you good? You good? You good? No, but this is a <laughs> private party, right? They're one of the they're one of my favorite tag teams in AEW. And you know, Vince what Vince doesn't allow his wrestlers to like do videos and stuff. Private party is part of AEW. And I said, hey, look, I'm only here. I only like AEW because my friend got me into it. I've been hooked ever since. Can you guys do shoot a little promo and tell him, give him some props and everything? It's a quick little prop. So they we, we set up. I got my camera. And they did a promo for me to send to Jonathan. That's yeah. tough, man. Yeah, man. I still got to save them, man. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie, man. Don't it was cutting that onions in that same club parking lot when I was watching that video, man. It was some onions cutting something. Because I was like, <laughs> I was like, man. It was, it was, they, all make, they all make time for it. You hit them yeah. up, they respond. I, I talked to the uh, owner of AEW, Tony Khan. I talked to him in Florida. I was in Florida. And I talked to him for a bit. And he just rapped. I said, look, I know you're busy. Can I chat with you? Yeah, I got time. You're here to watch my show. I'm going to make time for you. What's up? And I'm just saying. We talked for about five minutes. And yeah. he's a billionaire. 
Yeah. yeah. But and see, that's right. the difference between, like, I, I know Vince has changed over the years. I know Vince was a totally different man when he took it from his dad uh, in the 80s and 70s. I still think Vince is a terrible person, right? I mean, that, that hasn't changed. Yeah, right? He is. He, he kind of is. I mean, it all depends on who you talk to. Uh, if you talk to the wrestlers, people who, who love this man. Yeah. He's like a Jerry Jones of wrestling to me. I mean, didn't Jerry Jones screw a lot of people over? Yeah. But, I, I would say, but, but if you're his favorite, but if you're his favorite, oh, if you're a CQ Elliott, if you're Dak Prescott, if you're Roman you're Reigns, you teach you like, you know what I'm saying? And it's the same thing with Vince McMahon. Yeah, I think Vince's problem is, this is my thing. He, like John said, I think he is a changed person. You don't see him a lot in the light doing like shitty thing like he did before. But I but, think the problem is like, if you guys watch Dark Side of the Ring, all that stuff that happened in the past is catching up to him now. Yeah. Like, he had, like, even Jim Ross is now part of AEW, and he's going this whole atonement tour where yeah. he just feels bad for everything that he did, and he allowed Vince to put Vince to enable yeah. him to do. And your hands are stained now, bro. Like, yeah. there's nothing you can do to make the situation Let's better. keep in mind, like, almost everything from the 90s when it came to the Attitude Era, when it came to the Dudley boys putting this 85 year old lady through a table, when it came to <laughs> lingerie matches when, you know, titties was popping out, when it came to jello matches, when it came to these wedding angles, all of that was Vince, right? Yeah. But the only reason we don't have the quote unquote attitude area now is because his wife wanted to go into politics. Yeah. And when his wife went into politics, oh, it's they were like, we can't do this. This same stuff because, of yeah, course, think both. about it. If you're going into a, de- a debate with somebody, the first thing they're going to do is like, "This is what this, this is what you guys are selling right now." This is y'all. Yeah. y'all you allow like, right. Lita and Edge to we have sex the in the ring. Yeah, in front you know, of the whole Lita crowd. Have, you know, they having real sex in the ring and stuff. They like literally that. were in the bed. And Mark Henry and that old woman had given birth to a hand. Like this is just you that can't do that funny. no more. That was funny, Mark Henry. Right? That was funny. Yeah. Sexual chocolate? Sexual chocolate. <laughs> oh, quick, yeah, I'm going to say one last thing. Quick thing, quick, 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 quick story about Mark Henry. Coolest dude ever. So he recently came to AEW, right? Yep. And I went to a, I went to the AEW event in Jacksonville, and uh, I went to go meet the wrestlers. I, I've met, like, everybody at AEW. And I wanted to meet him, but his stuff was sold out, right? So I was like, he said, hey, what's wrong? I'm like, bro, I said, your stuff sold out. You, you know, you got no line, but I can't, I can't talk, you'll get a picture with you. Yeah, it's tough, man. I can't do nothing about it. So I was like, yeah, it's all good. I just wanted to meet sexual chocolate. So I'm in line trying to meet another wrestler. His agent comes to me and says, hey, man, Mark wants to take a picture with you and want to rap with you for a bit. So I went over to Mark Henry. He said, yeah, man. He said, if you're here to support me and support this business, well, he's sending Tony Khan I'm going to make time for you. He's like, what's good? I said, bro, it's an honor to meet you, sexual chocolate. <laughs> I said, thank you so much for making this time. I just want a quick picture. He said, nah, man, anything for you, bro. And I was like, thank you, Mark. Like, yeah. that right there. And that's the thing. And like I, was, like I was talking about, like, that's the difference. Like, Vince is looking at it still as a business. And like, yeah. Tony Khan and, and Cody Rose, bless the heart, they're all about the fans. Yeah. And it's like, you got two different generations of thinking. Like, Vince is like 70, 80 years old. And he still that's has that so- mindset from the 70s and 80s where women are just objectified. And only the big guys, the big muscular guys can sell shows. Tony Khan and Cody Rose is like, yo, we got guys out here that's like 150 pounds and give you matches of the year. You know what I'm saying? We can, we got yeah. we got women out here who actually wrestle. They're not just out here just they're because they, they are attractive. They can actually give you a quality match. And yeah. you got those two generations. And like Vince, I hate to say it, until he dies, until Triple H takes over completely, you're still going to have those things still pop out from here and there. There's a reason why some of those guys that you see every Monday night and every Friday night it's because of Vince, because Vince still has a handhold. Like Vince still has his hand on. He's like, I don't care what I want. Vince, I want Roman Reigns out there. Make him look strong. Like, dude, we getting tired of Roman Reigns. I don't give a shit. He's the he's the guy. He's but the guy. you got you got a uh, what's Marco Stunt? That dude's like eighty six pounds, and he's going against guys like three hundred pounds, giving you a, like a a real quality match. So when you have those two generations of like like of companies just coming up. It, it's going to clash, but it, it it feels very reminiscent of like the old WCW versus NWO. I mean, uh, WWE days, though. I, I am so sorry you brought up this topic because, like, again, I have to keep on apologizing because wrestling is something we're both passionate about. 
Yeah. And I, I am, dude, you just don't, dude, I can tell you stories all day of Bruh. my AEW experience. And I, and Bruh. I will talk your head off. I have, don't, don't, don't give me started. Don't even get started on the video. No, no, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. And, and you know what? Like, uh, you got, you remember meeting Rob, right? Uh, my, yeah. my homeboy from MTR. Yeah. That, like, he is a straight aficionado on the wrestling stuff. Damn. Like, oh, man, yeah, I got to talk to him. Oh, he knows everything. Like everything you guys are talking about, my man is well in depth. Not even just a- a- AEW and WWC and WWF. Uh, I mean WCW and WWF, but he knows about like the underground tournaments. Oh, yeah, stuff. You know, yeah. I'm he's, all about New Japan. Oh yeah, oh, he's in. He's in it deep. You know, so he so I want to I want to send you and Andre an invitation. So oh, for this. hit us. So okay, so we did this. Um, and this is totally, it's still doing wrestling, but uh, about four, about four years ago, right? Give or take, Xbox released WWE 2K16 <laughs> for free. And the servers were still live. And I was like, you know what? That's, it's a free wrestling game. I haven't played anything since like No Mercy. So it's been yeah. a long time. Yeah. And I was like, you know, let's get everybody together and let's try to create something. So we created an actual wrestling federation, a virtual paper league in a sense. And we had like 30 people and we had belts. Man, we, we had, had cards every week. Tag teams. Tag player. team belts. And people and we were streaming it. We had our entrances and everything. And we had like this live event every week. And it was like we were actually put on the show. And I had to talk to the commissioners every week about, okay, who's fighting who? Who won the belt last yeah. week? You know, what was the viewers? Yeah, we even did you know? promos. We did live action. We did like <laughs> real like promos and everything with belts and all that before matches and all Dude, that. It was, it was hilarious, man. It like was it crazy, was just, man. It, we had about 30 people and we had <clears> factions <throat> and we just every week you get points, you get per, and we, we set the matches. You know, we had the um, you know, the Royal Rumble, we had you know the tag team, we had the championship. Yeah. But the AEW game is coming out soon, right? Probably another year or so. And they had to create, you know, we all created our wrestlers and had our own, you know, everything. Yep. So when that comes out, we plan on restarting the paper league. We'd love for y'all to play with us as well. Jonathan and I, we were the longest reigning tag team champions of all time in this game. Oh, man. I was, cho- I, my name was Chocolate Disco. <laughs> <laughs> and I had a yellow disco outfit on. Yo. I had some dreads and then I came out to Booker T's music and it was just, Fantastic. Yeah, we, basically, we basically came uh, out like the new version of Harlem Heat. Yeah. Yo. We were Harlem Heat. I'm dead. But so, we would love for y'all to play with us, but it's like it was a great time and we made we made the best out of a free game. Dude, that, it, just, it was live. We I'm had dead. so much fun with that game. I'm going to suck, though. I'm going to let you. Fun, though. Yeah, it sounds That's it sounds all it was. Fun. It sounds fun. We had people who sucked. Out early. We had oh, people bro. who sucked. We had, a, we, had oh, a, we had a five-man tag match one time and it was just it it was was chaos. Wow. Chaos. That, that, was, we had and that, was a, that was the funnest shit we had, though. Yeah. We we lost, but it was, it was that, all good, man. Yo, I'm about to say, like, that joke sounds vicious. We, we throw people off the top of the hell, and it's like, it was Bruh. so wild. And people were, other people were watching us wrestle. Yeah, because we, stream, it we definitely so streamed hot. it. Yeah, yeah, we, we streamed, streamed it, it, and it was just like so, watching real wrestling. Is it still up? Yeah. Um, I, 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 let me see if I find some old recordings. I'm sure I can yeah, find some old yo, recordings. Send me a link in it. Yo. Yeah, that shit, yeah, man. It, it was fun, yeah, man. It was like, we had, we had it those tornado make, matches, make, so everybody was in the ring at the same time. Yeah, making <laughs> your own character, making your own intros. It was Dude, that was, that was back in the day in the N64 days. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Dude, that, that was half, the, that, that half my time was just making my character, making sure all the that moves and all that. Tailoring the moves and getting the moves straight, bro. Get it perfect, man. You got to tailor. That sixty four, man. Like. I'm telling you, man. When you guys, so you guys have been doing y'all show for uh, a minute, right? About, yeah. about eight years. Yeah. About eight years. Yep. Who would you guys say is the best guest y'all ever had? I'm I might can answer that one. Go ahead. You really want to know? Rick don't need no time. Yeah, yeah. All right, I already know. I already know. This, this, this is the easiest question you ask me all night. <laughs> I don't know if I know this guy. Uh, his name is Diaris. He works for Coldplay Media. <laughs> Him and the guy named Trevor that work for Cap on the Crowd. Oh, they were, they were the two best people I've ever had on the podcast, yeah, guest wise. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed that podcast so damn much. <laughs> I know it was awesome, man. I gotta see Trevor. How's Trevor doing, man? Trevor always I, had like a million hustles. Dude, I had talked to Trevor in about Trevor, probably about a good Trevor year, man. A he, moving company now. Yeah, moving company, yeah. man. He, dude, let me tell you something about Trevor. 
he had a movie company. He always looking to help the community out, man. I've never Yo. seen a brother who goes the like I helped him, I helped him transport kids so many times to like events where they had to wear yeah. ties, I buy yeah, clothing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he you know he about Hudson and Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> Dog, I was in Brothers. Oh, you were in Brothers? I was in Brothers. Yeah. I was in wow. Brothers. That's how I know Trevor, because Trevor was in Brothers. Like we were in it in different years. Man. Like um he was in it when and I guess Gaithersburg and I was in Brothers at uh geez, like early on when I was going like Springbrook. Yeah, but he, he is, and I have to help him do tournaments at um, Game Stops and everything. Like, the dude is, I mean, he's probably one of the nicest people I've ever met. Yeah, oh, Trevor, he Trevor the is a saint. Heart, dude. Yeah, Trevor is a saint, bro. Like, he's really probably really the most healthiest heart. person I've ever met in my life, too. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah, that, that is the one thing I don't like about Trevor. Trevor is no, vegan, and he will hey, let you Trevor. know every minute of the day. <laughs> well, I remember I brought Kent Trevor over my house and he felt so disrespected that my house smelled like bacon. It was like Ooh. maple bacon. And he was just like, what is this, man? You know, I don't need pork. Pork is uh, bad for you. You know Trevor. about the nitrates that are in pork? Like, he just kept yeah, going. Like, he told me, he said, Rick, you think about getting up fast food? I was like, you mean like a week? I was like, like a month? Today? I could probably do a month, but like today, like, like I forever? Yeah, I know. Not forever. Like forever? He'd be like, yo, I got these portobello <laughs> mushrooms that I grew in my garden. Yo, these oh, are banging. You got to try these. I fried them up. You know what I'm saying? Yo, make a cheese. I'll eat some, some fried Dude, my, my, my story with him with food is Latin was safe, though. Okay. We were at a in, 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 we were in DC at the uh, ND3. In, oh, in N3 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 N3DC. N3DC. Oh, N3DC. And, and they're like, Ricky, you hungry? And I'm like, yeah, but I don't know if I want to. I, mean, I may just go to McDonald's somewhere. I said, no, come, come, go to go to this place and order food. I said, when they got there. Us all vegetarian, I'd be like it. I'll say, what do y'all get? Oh, he took you to the new vegan. No, well, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get food. Took you to the new vegan. Yo, I, I, I asked him what was on the menu. He was like, yo, it tastes just, it just, it just like chicken. I said, what is it? He said, they got the buffalo cauliflower wings. I was like, nah, man. I'm <laughs> I was like, I'm good. Now, yo. hold up. I did have the black bean burger when he made us go. Okay. Yeah, he, he that was pretty go good. That was pretty good. Dude, I'm sorry. I had, like, I, I'm not eating no cauliflower food. wing, bro. I just can't do it. <laughs> I ain't, Love I ain't it. eating cauliflower nothing, man. My wife tried to pull that on me, trying to get yeah, some, cauliflower, some cauliflower, man. mashed that's cauliflower, hard and tell me it was mashed potatoes. I felt disrespected, man. Yeah, that was that's disrespectful. Right there. I mean, yeah, I can man. do the mashed up cauliflower. Word, because at least I know it's mashed cauliflower. My man, now, the wings and me. stuff. That's a different story. After after the boxers and shit, be having cauliflower ears, man. I'm good, bro. I'm, oh, good, man. I'm good. I won't eat cauliflower. I'm good, man. I, I can have it. I'm forever good on cauliflower. Cauliflower just tastes like. Oh, you ever? You, you guys ever talked to a hotel dude? You know what I'm saying? He was like broccoli. You know, broccoli is made up by by man. You know. I mean, bro, I mean man, cauliflower man. tastes like it tastes. I think the cauliflower. I think it tastes like they taste like how a ghost would taste. Like, yeah, I like the ghost. That's how cauliflower tastes. Cauliflower <laughs> tastes like ghost broccoli. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, like, tastes like disappointment. Yeah. Too much to it for the day. It's like not happening today. <laughs> like, all right. Uh, it tastes like a God. vegetable that is not popular in the black community. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, it's, like what is this? Yeah, he, 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 he had me and D up in that new vegan spot, man. I know exactly what you're talking about. Now, <laughs> don't be wrong. Like the presentation gets an A. No, it looks great. Presentation. I mean, it like soul. It's, it looks like soul food. Like like real yeah. gym is soul food. Legit. But it's not soul food. Legit. And yeah, like, they have uh, like uh, they had a pepper steak in there too. Yeah, okay. fake pepper steak. It was like pepper steak tofu or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it, yo, man, it has been such a blessing and a pleasure to have you guys on, man. Like I, I'm so. Us, man. Nah, it's, really it's, fun, I, I appreciate us uh, finally being able to coordinate. Like, I appreciate you guys' patience and everything. Um, you guys are fantastic. And after doing it, like, I know this show, you know, was made for a reason, man. I, I just yeah. want to say again, I appreciate you guys. And, uh, and and Demo, too, man. Like, I probably don't say it enough, but I appreciate you, too, man. Man, I appreciate you, dog. Man, I appreciate you, too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we, 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 we try to point. Is, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, guys, guys, just point to each other. Like, I appreciate, yeah, I appreciate y'all, man. I'm trying to be like you. <laughs> I'm trying to be like y'all, I'm trying man. to be like you. <laughs> you and I grow up, you know? Yeah. Right. So, uh, in closing, I want to say, if you don't like your destiny, don't accept it. Instead, have the courage to change it the way you want it to be. Naruto Uzumaki. 
<laughs> and with that being said, man, this is Coldplay Media, and we are out of here. You've been listening to Coplay Media with hosts Diers and Demo. For more information on Coplay Media and the Blurred Community, visit coplaymedia.com or the Coplay Media page at dc.radio.gov. 